Magu Zian Shou. Magu brings immortality, the way of infinite harmony, path of Her Holiness Princess Magu, divinity of cannabis. What is the way of infinite harmony? The way of infinite harmony is a Taoist practice based on the immortalization of Her Holiness Princess Magu, divinity of cannabis. Sending you love and gratitude. Greetings, sisters and brothers. Welcome to Pernetter Kemet. I am Professor R.T. Bates, and this is an introduction to the art of life or Tao life, the fountain of youth and beauty, science of immortality. Welcome. On this video, we're going to be uh, giving a short introduction to uh, the five elements of food. People like to say diet. We try not to say diet, but you know, people don't know what you're talking about if you don't say diet. Listen to the words, die it. You know, you don't want to be eating something that has die in the first part of the word. And you don't want to be a it, so you don't want to be a dying it. Nah. Anyway, um, as I've been doing, I'll read an expert, an expert. I'll read an excerpt uh, from the book, from our uh, course book that you get with the course. Because this is a consultant's instructor course that you can learn at home on the internet. Uh, you can come to our school our private school, secret school in the South, or, um, or if you're here in New York, you can, uh, you can do a work-study program with us. So the five elements is kind of misleading, the, the, uh, the, the naming elements, because when, when Westerners think of elements, they might think of the cardinal, what they call the cardinal elements, ether, fire, air, water, and earth. So what in Taoism, what they mean by the five elements <clears throat> is really called the five phases of energy. Um, I talked about before in the last about the different energies of the different organs. So when we deal with the five tastes, really, of foods, again, that's what we mean by five elements, are the five tastes of foods. So we deal with the sweet taste, which deals with the, uh, with the uh, pancreas and stomach, really in Chinese medicine they don't look at the stomach like all that big, they really look at the pancreas which is more of the uh, excretes, the fluids, the pancre pancreatic fluids. And the stomach is just like really like a holding place for the food, but they are digesting going on. But anyway, those two organs are considered with the sweet taste. The liver is the sour taste, so a sour taste uh, energizes the liver and activates the liver, and the liver is connected to the gallbladder. Uh, then you have the kidneys. The kidneys are, are the, uh, are the um, salty taste, water, salty, and the kidneys are connected to the bladder, water, bladder, kidneys, water etc. And also though that same system is connected to the knees and the sexual organs. The kidneys and the sexual organs as well as the heart. Everything is connected but in Chinese medicine they have special connections. 
Um, next we have the lungs. The lungs and are connected with the large intestines and the taste for the lungs is the, the spicy or hot taste. And now this is one of the, uh, probably one of the most notable ones by Westerners because anybody who's tasted anything real hot, if you had a bit of mucus in you, that stuff comes out. And it comes out the nose and tears come out. Hot taste really activates uh, the lung system to get all the junk out. So it's the same concept with all the tastes and all the organs. Each of the tastes do uh, different things to the different organs, similar to that. And then what did we forget? The heart of the maybe the most important organ, because you can lose a lung and still live. You can lose a kidney and still, you can lose, you know, your stomach, your stomach, etc. But when your heart is gone, you might as well stop breathing unless they replace it with some plastic. So the heart taste, uh, or the heart is connected with the small intestine, and the taste for the heart, believe it or not, is bitter. Yeah, it, it's, you would think it would be sweet, you understand, but no, actually it's bitter. And actually real chocolate, which they consider love and with the heart and all that type of stuff, is a bitter taste. It's the sweeteners are added to the chocolate or the cocoa. You understand? But it's a bitter taste, and this is why it deals with the heart and all that type of stuff. So, uh, once you learn how to eat from the five tastes, the idea is to eat from the five tastes. Now, each organ has a has energy is high at a particular, at a different time of day. So, what we try to do is eat the foods that support that energy at that time of day, and then give a little support for the next uh, phase that comes in. So, so phase is what we mean by the, the energy moving during the day, moving between the different organs. At, at one time of day, maybe it's 12 o'clock at noon, it's strong in the heart. Then it's strong in the, uh, the stomach area, then it's strong in the liver, and so on and so forth. Now, if you're eating in tune with that cycle, the organs stay strong. And again, like I said before, we don't want to do anything for the organ. We want the organ to be strong so that it does for itself. It eliminates food. It uh, it uh, digests food. You don't want to take heartburn medicine and all that garbage. When you eat, and it don't, you're not trying to eat like all types of crazy diets. It's eat from the five tastes. Eat variety of food. Eat yin and yang, which is um, which is balance of pH, which is pH balance. Yin and yang means acid and and alkaline balance you know simple things like that try to eat in season a variety of colors of food it's basic stuff it's not about losing weight gaining weight when you eat balance if you need to lose weight your body will lose weight if you need to gain some it'll gain some so again this diet balances as well as heals the body and gives nutrition to all the different organs so, uh, just right quick, most humans need, enjoy, and crave foods, but most do not know how to eat it properly. They do not know how to balance, select, avoid, or prepare foods. The Tao Life Principles of Food Consumption helps humans, humans achieve fulfillment in life by preparing by preparing foods that satisfies four things. Pleasing aroma, mmm. Pleasing taste, mmm. Pleasing to the eyes, ooh. Beneficial to the body. When those four things are satisfied, you get good health and good nutrition. It's not real hard, people. It's not as hard as they want you to think it is because they are trying to make money. They're not only trying to make money, they're trying to make you sick so you can go to the hospital system and make them money too. And then you can go in the funeral system and make them money too. Take back your health, people. That's what this course is about. Take back your life. You understand? I may not have a whole lot right now, but I have my health and I have my life. Even looking like this. I'm still healthy. So, hey, Chuck.
peace in the midst of adversity. Peace in the mind, peace in the heart. This is an introduction uh, to the Art of Life Consultant course. And I hope to hear from you soon. Later. Peace.